What's up? Welcome back to my channel. In the ever-evolving landscape of social media, yet another peculiar and captivating phenomenon has emerged on TikTok, leaving viewers both fascinated and bewildered. It all started with Pinky Doll, aka Feta Sinan, a content creator who went viral with her cryptic utterances during a TikTok live stream, chanting, Mmm, ice cream so good, mmm, ice cream so good, yes, 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 yes. The video seemed almost hallucinatory without context, but it represents a growing trend on the platform NPC Streams. In this detailed exploration, we'll delve into the intriguing world of NPCs, TikTok's non-playable video game character-inspired creators, and the complexities behind this viral sensation. NPC Streams draw inspiration from video game characters known as non-playable characters who are pre-programmed to inhabit a game's virtual world. These NPCs often repeat the same limited set of actions or dialogue, adding to the game's ambiance. On TikTok, creators have embraced this concept, embodying the essence of NPCs by mimicking their repetitive movements, gestures, expressions, and catchphrases. The result is a mesmerizing loop of activity where the TikTok streamers find themselves at the mercy of their viewers, performing a predetermined set of actions corresponding to the digital gifts they receive. Pinky Doll, inadvertently becoming the face of this trend, showcases just how much money can be generated through these streams, earning up to $3,000 per stream, as reported by the New York Times. Viewers can contribute to the creator's earnings by sending gift tokens, but this process is intricate and multifaceted. Users buy virtual coins using real money, which are then used to acquire gift tokens such as cartoon roses and pandas. These tokens can be converted into gift coins, which in turn, can be exchanged for virtual diamonds. When a creator amasses $100 worth of diamonds, they can convert them into cash. It is essential to note that TikTok takes a 50% cut of the net revenue earned from cashing out virtual gifts, as revealed by Insider. With enough diamonds, this can be life-changing money for many of these streamers who may be leaving paycheck to paycheck, struggling with paying rent or dealing with food insecurity. The charm of NPC streams lies in the real-time connection between viewers and creators, the true parasocial magnum opus in big tech. I bet Mr. Lizard himself, Mark Zuckerberg, is proud of his life's work, this culture he popularized. During live streams, audiences witness their donations transforming into immediate actions from any creators they are fixated on, making the content more engaging and emotionally connecting. Pinky Doll's streams have skyrocketed in popularity, attracting up to 30,000 concurrent viewers, signaling a widespread fascination with this unconventional genre. However, not everyone embraces the trend wholeheartedly, as this sugar daddy dynamic has some parallels to submissive and domination roleplay. Some have even labeled NPC streams as the equivalent of a strip club for Gen Z. Critics argue that the format can be cringy and bizarre, but Pinky Doll remains unfazed by negative reactions, seeing them as part of the promotional package. Unfortunately, as with any viral trend, misconceptions and misinterpretations abound. NPC TikTok creators, most of whom are attractive young women, have been wrongly associated with fetish content and sex work. The internet's tendency to jump to conclusions has fueled unfair accusations against these creators despite their streams not being sexually explicit or intended for sexual gratification, at least according to these streamers. Still, many have expressed that they see it as the inevitable development of yet another new cyber fetish, this time involving human beings reducing themselves to acting like NPCs, as if they were in an unhinged video game. Another streamer called Cherry Crush, who makes similar NPC content, has been accused by many to unabashedly dabble with the trend in an even more adult manner. The sudden attention on NPC streams has inadvertently dragged actual sex workers into dehumanizing conversations, perpetuating stigmas surrounding sex work. It is crucial to differentiate NPC content from fetish content and not unfairly categorize these creators as predatory sex workers. The world of TikTok, as we all know, is diverse, encompassing various genres, including ASMR content, crafting hacks, and messy food channels that may overlap with explicit content. Regardless of anyone's sentiments, NPC TikTok creators such as Pinky Doll and Cherry Crush are masters at monetizing their unique content as well as monetizing their looks in a society run by pretty privilege. Their success lies in their unconventional behavior, captivating audiences with their performances. While their appearance may influence their popularity, it does not make them sex workers. 
Instead, they are adept at leveraging their creativity to engage viewers and generate income. In conclusion, the NPC streams trend on TikTok has undoubtedly left an indelible mark on social media, capturing the attention of audiences worldwide. Understanding the context behind these intriguing streams allows us to appreciate the creativity and innovation of content creators like Pinky Doll. It's crucial to challenge misconceptions and stigmas surrounding this genre and appreciate the diversity of content that makes TikTok a platform of endless possibilities. So, let's celebrate the fascinating world of NPC streams and embrace the ingenuity of TikTok creators as they continue to push boundaries and redefine online entertainment. I mean, who can't wait to purchase their very own AI girlfriend one day on Amazon? The future is bright, ladies and gents. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.